is Abel. I am a primary resident of Sekolah Cahaya Cemerlang in Yosudarso, Jakarta. I like cooking and baking. My favorite cookie to bake is churros. I learned how to bake churros from my auntie. But today, I'm not going to do some baking. But I'm going to do a science experiment and combine it with some baking fun. I am going to do a science experiment about mixture and solution. To do this experiment, we are going to need 10 plastic cups. I use this kind of cups. You can use other kinds which you have in your house. But please make sure you are using transparent cups so, I, so you can see what is happening easily. Then prepare some spoons to start. And don't forget to label all the cups. Fill each cup with water, about half of the cup. Like this. Then prepare one spoon of 10 different materials. I am going to use the materials I have from my mom's kitchen. They are cocoa powder, flour, cheddar cheese, choco chips, cranberry jam, margarine, jelly powder, milk, baking soda, and food coloring. For video purposes, I have prepared one spoon of each ingredient and put it in smaller cups, like this one. After preparing all of these materials, we are going to begin the experiment. We will put each material into each cup and mix it. We will see what happens. Let's start with the milk. I will pour one spoon of fresh milk into the cup. As you can see, the milk easily dissolves with the water and turns the water into white. Every time you're done, don't forget to wipe off so the ingredients doesn't mix together. Next, let's put one spoon of chocolate chips into the water. After I mix it, the chocolate chips will turn the water into brown and the chocolate chips will turn into grains and sink to the bottom of the cup, like this. Now, the jelly powder. Put it into the cup and stir it. As you can see, the jelly powder disappears and dissolves with the water. And turns the water into a green solution because the jelly powder is green. What's next? Hmm. How about this one? The margarine. The margarine is quite sticky. So you have to use another spoon to put it into the cup. You will see, even though you mix it with the water, the margarine doesn't mix with the water. 
it just becomes messy and messier because of the stirring. Mm. The margarine keeps, keeps its sticky form in the water. And make sure you wipe it off because margarine is really sticky and it can stick to the, to the spoon. Next, let's put food coloring. I use the blue color food coloring. I'll put it into the water. And the water becomes blue because of the food coloring. Then the flour. I will put one spoon into the water. Then stir it with the spoon. At first, it may seem like the flour is mixing with the water, but after a while, you will see that some of the flour will sink to the bottom of the cup. Baking soda is the next one. Put one spoon of baking soda into the water. Mix it with the spoon. As you can see, the baking soda easily dissolves into the water and turns the water into an unclear solution. Hmm. Uh, let's do the cheese now. I'm going to put this cheese into the water. The cheese will turn the water into yellow with a little touch of white as you see after a while some of the cheese will sink to the bottom of the cup The next, the cocoa powder. I will put one spoon of cocoa powder in the water and I will mix it with the spoon. The last one is cranberry jam. <laughs> cranberry jam is also quite sticky, so you may want to use another spoon. Put it in like this. As you can see, the cranberry jam changes the color of the water into red with a touch of purple. After you mix everything, some of the cranberry jam will sink to the bottom of the cup. You'll see how each material mixes together. Some of these materials dissolve and some does not dissolve properly. When two or more kinds of matter are put together, it is called a mixture. A mixture can be mainly divided into two types, such as homogeneous mixtures and heterogeneous mixtures. 
In heterogeneous mixtures, we can see the different substances in the mixture. For example, when you mix margarine with water, you can still see the form of margarine as a sticky texture in the water. A homogeneous mixture is more uniform and it's difficult to tell the differences between the two substances. A solution is a type of homogeneous mixture. Sometimes when two or more materials are mixed, a special kind of mixture is formed. For example, when you mix jelly powder with water. The solid jelly powder seems to disappear in the water. This process is called dissolving and will form a solution. When a solid is dissolved in a liquid, we call the liquid the water a solid. And the solid, the jelly powder, is called a solute. From this experiment, we can see the heterogeneous mixtures are chocolate chips, flour, grated cheese, cocoa powder, maybe at first the cocoa powder seems like it is mixing but if you see from the down part it's darker and the cocoa powder is sinking to the bottom of the cup and cranberry jam and margarine. while milk, jelly powder, food coloring, and baking soda forms a solution when mixed with water. I will then divide the cups which are solution on my left and mixtures on my right. Can you see the differences easily? I hope you guys can learn from this experiment about how to compare and contrast a, a few simple characteristics of mixtures and solutions. Thank you all for watching. God bless you. Bye!